love it or loathe it, brickbats or bouquets. Europe Direct is a chance for members to have their say. So what comes up? If that isn't too strong a word, we are very expensive. No doubt about it. But this time round, we have actually achieved something that has never been done before. And I say we, it is the British government of the day that has achieved it. For the first time ever, we have had a reduction in the overall budget of the EU. I've been an MEP since 2004 and I can tell you there is a tremendous sea change between my first parliamentary term and now. Powers have shifted to us from the Commission, who are the unelected bureaucrats you keep reading about, and they have shifted to us in the Parliament. And it's my argument that that is where those powers should be. Why? Because we are the ones who are democratically elected. Farage was on the BBC the day before yesterday, admitting that he had been in 2002 to a lap dancing club in Strasbourg in the company of an MEP who had actually stood in the presidential elections in France and that he had gone there inadvertently. <laughs> yeah, and the BBC interviewer just laughed. I couldn't believe it. If I go somewhere inadvertently, what do I do? I leave. She didn't ask him what happened next. I'm sure he did. And the other point is, who was he with? Who is this MEP French presidential candidate? I'll tell you who it was. Jean-Marie Le Pen. The leader of their national front. We have actually now drawn a line in the sand. And if those reforms aren't undertaken to allow us to be in the centre and the heart of Europe, forging the sort of Europe we hope to forge, we will decide as a country to leave. I have no doubt about that. Our people will vote a certain way. Well, I think it was an extremely good uh, presentation by uh, Serge Karim. I've obviously met with him on many occasions in Brussels and uh, the Conservative Party conference. And it was extremely interesting to, to receive his views on the three R's and uh, how the European Union is functioning at the moment. Excellent presentation from Sarge. I think he's stimulated the debate here. We need people more like Sarge coming along and telling us what's going on and trying to counter all this negative press we hear. Um, and certainly for me, the antics of UKIP in the European Parliament are awful and we need to find a way of getting that across to the great British public. I thought tonight was very informative. Sarge gave a wonderful presentation and the one thing that uh, stuck out for me was how thought-provoking it was because there's a lot of myths about the EU, certainly there's a lot of myths about uh, the functions of the EU. I found it very informative. Great to have Sarge here in West Lancashire. Look forward to seeing him again very soon. A huge thanks to the West Lancashire Conservative Association for hosting this Europe Direct. If you want Sarge to host a Europe Direct in your own constituency, please do get in touch.